am Karen Dubs with FlexibleWarrior.com. We're going to do a short 10-15 minute segment that's really geared more towards people who are less flexible, who are newer to yoga. Um, maybe you've been involved with sports your whole life and never really stretched. You want to start with yoga, um, but you don't know where to start. So this is very simple basic. We're going to do some core stabilization and some basic flexibility work. Okay, so starting on your hands and knees. You just want to take a moment to align yourself. The uh, hands right under the shoulders, knees right under the hips. The breath is connected to the movement. So as you inhale, we're going to tilt the tailbone up to the ceiling, shrug the shoulders back from the ears, and let the ribcage drop down to the floor. This is cow. As you exhale, you're going to round your spine up, moving into calf. Flexing, allowing the chin to drop to the chest, hollowing out the belly. So it's an inhale into cat, extension of the spine, and exhale into cow, flexing the spine. And the head and the neck go along with the movement as well. Let's do it three more times. Inhale, open the chest, lift the tailbone. Exhale, flex the spine, hollow the belly, and round. Inhale, open, deep breath through the nose. Exhale through the nose as you hollow the belly and round. And one more time just to open and loosen up the spine. Exhale to around. And really move your body as completely through the range of motion as possible. Return to a neutral spine. You want to pull the belly in and up towards your spine, towards the sky, away from the floor. From that position, you're going to take your right leg straight back. You want to kick through your heel and try to internally rotate the right thigh so the hips are level. Same time, you want to reach uh, forward with your left hand and stretch from your left fingertips out through your right heel. Take an inhale, reach a little bit further, and as you exhale, you'll place your hand in your knee down. Okay, switching sides, left leg begins, belly in, and the left inner thigh is rolling up so that the hip bones are level and then right hand stretches forward. Your right thumb is turned up to the sky, so your right arm is right by your right ear. You're gonna inhale, stretch, and reach a little bit further. Belly's pulled in and up. And then exhale, hand to knee come down. We're gonna flow with this. You're gonna inhale, opposite arm to leg, right leg, left arm, reach to the top, and then exhale, lower. Synchronizing breath with movement, inhale, lift and reach. Exhale, flex and lower. This is called spinal balance. Good for core stabilization, coordination. One more time, switching sides, right arm, left leg. Inhale, lift to the top, top, top. Make sure you're going through your fullest range of motion without sacrificing your form. And then lower down. Good. If you have range of motion through your hips, you can sit back through a child's pose as far back as you can. On an inhale, you're going to shift forward to your hands and knees. Exhale, chest and chin lead the movement. You're going to keep your knees bent onto the floor to modify the movement. Inhale, lift up. Back bend as far as the range will allow you. You can go a little bit lower if you need to. Release out of it. And push back, either to hands and knees or to child's pose. Again, inhale, shift forward. Waves into the hands, exhale, chest and chin, lead the movement. So keep the hips up until you lower down. Inhale into your back bend. Again, staying a little bit lower if you need to. Pressing up if you have the range. Release out of it. Press back, either to your hands and knees. You can stop right here if you need to. If your knees and your hips will allow you to, sit back into child's pose. One more time, inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chest and chin, lead the movement. Inhale, open your chest. Keep a good back bend. Make sure you're not shrugging your shoulders up to your ears, but rather keeping your shoulders down and away from your ears. Release out of that, and you're going to flip right over onto your back. So flip yourself over, and if you can, hug your knees into your chest and just circle around a little bit just to release your spine. Reverse directions of that circle. And then from there, you're going to bring your knees right out over your hips and your shins parallel to the floor. You're going to feel the natural curve underneath your low back and the floor. I want you to pull your belly in and try to flatten your abdominal wall, okay? Without moving your knee and your back, go ahead and tap one foot down to the floor, 
Okay, keeping all of this the same, contract your abs and lift back up. Okay, switching sides. Other foot taps down. Again, keep that neutral spine, stabilizing the core, and lift up. Okay, keep alternating right and left, and be really slow and mindful. So you're, it's like you're pedaling a bike almost. It's going to be continuous movement now, right and left. But you're not going to be in a hurry at all. You're not going to pedal fast. It's not about how far you can go, how quickly, how many repetitions you can get done in the shortest amount of time. In fact, it's about slow motion, really maintaining core stabilization, and using and firing the muscles completely rather than just going through the motion. And of course, breathing. So you're still trying to synchronize the movement and breath here. The idea is you're gonna inhale as you tap the foot down, exhale as you contract and lift it up. Inhale, exhale. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Both feet come down. Now that might fatigue your hip flexors a little bit as well. We're gonna do um, a stretch called bridge, or a pose called bridge pose, which also stretches the hip flexors while engaging the glutes and the hamstrings. So reach your fingertips towards your heels, slide your shoulders back in your ears, take a deep breath into your nose, and as you exhale, lift your hips up to the ceiling. Now maintain a neutral spine, and try, even though I just turned my head, for you, I want you to keep your nose pointed straight to the sky, and keeping your back um, and your neck in line and neutral. Really press through your heels, press through your toes, and really guide your hips up to the ceiling. Taking one more breath. And you're gonna push through the balls of the feet and then slowly roll down one vertebra at a time. Releasing your low back and foot, uh, feet flat to the floor. Okay, we're just gonna do an easy hamstring stretch from here. So your right leg's gonna come straight up, and your hands can come underneath your right thigh, okay? If you have a stretch strap and you can put that under your foot, fabulous. And if you don't, just take your hands and interlace them right underneath your thigh. We're gonna do a small range of motion here. So you're gonna inhale, let the foot drift away from your face a little bit, maybe an inch or two. As you exhale, use the strength of your arms. Again, if you're using a stretch strap, pull down on that and get a nice deep stretch at the bottom of the exhale. Inhale, foot goes away from your face. Exhale, foot draws towards your right shoulder and you're getting a nice stretch through your hamstring. Let's do that three more times. Inhale, exhale, hamstring stretch. Inhale, exhale, nice and easy. And one more time, inhale, and exhale into your stretch. Good. Now we're just gonna change the angle of the stretch a little bit to get into your IT band. So you're just gonna take your left hand, put it on the outside of your right knee, and internally ro your, rotate your right knee so it's pointing towards your left shoulder. Again, if you have a stretch strap, the strap can be underneath the foot, and you can just hold on to it with the left hand instead. Otherwise, the left hand's outside the right knee, and you're gonna gently pull your right foot towards your left shoulder. You should feel a stretch shift a little bit to the outside of the right thigh. Inhale, the foot will drift away a few inches. Exhale, and internally rotate that right knee, drawing the right foot towards the left shoulder. Okay, a couple more times, inhaling. Exhaling into your stretch. Last two. And exhale. And one more time, release from the stretch, and exhale into the stretch. Good. Now from there, I just want you to take your right knee and cross it over your left knee, as if you're sitting into a chair with your legs crossed, right knee over left. We're gonna drop the knees over to the right, spread your arms out wide into a T position, and get that nice stretch through the left side of your uh, low back and into your left hip. So the right leg is hanging heavy on the left leg increasing the intensity of the stretch. Let's take three more breaths here. So ideally you would hold the stretch for five breath cycles. Inhale through the nose, deep, deep breath in. Exhale, try to consciously relax and soften into the stretch. Take one more breath. And exhale. 
exhale into it. On your next inhale, you're going to bring the knees all the way back to center. Keep your legs crossed just as they are and drop your right knee over to the left. Now your right arm's out straight and you can look over your right arm. Okay, so this is more of a spinal twist. If you want to increase the stretch a little bit, you can take your left hand on top of your right knee and guide that right knee a little closer to the floor. It may touch, it may not. Don't worry about that. As long as you're feeling a nice stretch through your low back and um, attaching into your glute on that right side, it's all good. Okay, take two more deep breaths in and out through your nose. Try to really relax and soften into your stretch. And one more deep breath in. And all the way out. On your next inhale, knees come all the way back to center. You're going to uncross your legs, and we're going to get that on the left side. So the right knee is going to stay bent, left leg straight up, interlace your fingers underneath your left thigh. Again, using the stretch drop if you have, goes under the ball of the left foot. Inhale, let the foot drift away from the face a little bit. Exhale, use the strength of your arms to guide that foot in a little closer to you. Feel a stretch, but you're not forcing it, you're not shaking. Inhale, the foot goes away from the face. Exhale, pull it in. Continue to move in and out of the stretch. So it doesn't have to be these extreme yoga poses. Sometimes it's just very simple, very gentle movement. Um, and the consistency is really the key with getting the benefits out of your yoga practice, whatever it is that you're doing. Okay, two more times just like that. Inhale, and make sure, by the way, that your tailbone is anchored down to the floor. So if you're lifting your tailbone up in order to feel like you're getting your leg further towards your face, it's really going to compromise the quality of the stretch. So make sure the tailbone stays down. Now at the end of this next exhale, you're going to hold the stretch at the most intense part of the stretch. That doesn't mean you're forcing it. You're not struggling. You're not shaking. If you feel, you know, um, a, a gentle pull in the back of that leg so that you know you're getting a nice stretch there. Okay, let's switch it so it gets a little bit into the outside of that thigh. Right hand goes across the left knee. You're going to internally rotate that left knee. And as you exhale, you're going to pull that left knee towards your right shoulder. You'll feel the stretch on the outside of the leg. You're going to inhale, allow the leg to release out of that stretch a few inches. Exhale back into the most intense part of the stretch. Keep your hips level. You're not rolling onto your side or anything here. You're keeping your hips level and all the way back and over. Good, again, inhale and exhale. And one more time, inhale and exhale. Now just hold the stretch over and across. Again, keep the hips level and anchored. Take one more nice deep breath in, don't force it. And then go ahead and release out of that cross that left knee over the right knee and the left knee is leaving the movement over to your left side coming into your recline twist you should ideally feel this a little bit more on your right side into your right hip you'll take five breaths here in and out through your nose the reason you want to breathe in and out through your nose by the way is it helps to induce the relaxation response in the body so it's important that you consciously breathe smoothly and deeply Go ahead and bring your knees all the way back up to center. And then keeping that left knee crossed over the right knee, drop your knees to the right. You can grab onto your left knee with your right hand, increasing the stretch just a little bit. And then go ahead and release it all the way back to center. Uncross your legs. Um, if you take your left hand right underneath your, your hand, sorry, underneath your left thigh, you can kick your thigh into your hands to help support you on the way up. A nice butterfly stretch is a great way to finish, just to make sure you get the groin in your thigh as well. So the bottoms of the feet together to touch and the knees press out to the side. Holding that for fat, about five breaths. So again, this takes less than 10 minutes. If you can do this three, four, five days a week, very simple, very basic range of motion, flexibility, core stabilization. All right, thank you so much. Namaste.